Anytime you have a composition what's made up of many different layers, just like we have here, if you would like to gain more control over those layers, you might want to consider using the pre-composing function. You can take a few layers and put them into one container, which is called a composition. As you can see on my left side, I have a few compositions here. I have my main comp open and I have an example comp. Let me now show you how compositions work and how to fit this all together. If you want to have everything under control, compositions add a level of extra depth into what you are doing. Let's for example take this animation. We have this animation here on the top, which is made up of one shape layer and one text layer. If I'm doing any adjustment to this composition, I would not like to hurt this little animation. So I take this layer, I press the shift key, I also select the shape layer, and by hitting Ctrl or Command on Mac, Shift C, or right clicking here and hitting Precompose, I can create a precomposition out of those two layers. Let me maybe call it Red Animation. And as you can notice, this little red animation is now a separate composition. Now, what are the pros and cons of a precomposition? The best thing inside of a precomposition is that you can always access all the layers which are inside. Those layers have a completely separate working area and I can for example add effects here and those layers inside would remain the same. I would not hurt this text layer and this shape layer. A little problem however you might sometimes run into is if your original composition is longer, let me go Control or Command K and I'll extend the duration of my original composition here to 20 seconds. Now my composition is longer. I can of course make all my layers longer, my background longer, but I cannot make this composition, this pre-composition longer because a composition has its own settings. I would have to go manually inside of this composition, press Ctrl K here and extend also this composition. It's rather rare that you run into such problems because while designing you already know that the certain elements you want to pre-compose will be displayed only during a few seconds. So once you are pre-composing them, you already know why are you pre-composing them. Let me show you another small example, which is very important, which we were talking about when explaining the timeline, but I didn't explain it fully. It is regarding this little button, which is collapse transformation. I'll make a new layer now. Let's make me make a big text. It will say, wow. Now I add a few shapes to it maybe with the ellipse tool, some eyes here, some eyes here, and I have a shape layer and the wow text. I take them both, I press Ctrl or Command Shift C, I pre-compose them, and now I have this composition. If I take my selection tool and I move this composition, it's cropped on the right. By default, compositions will be cropped. But if you would like to remain the informations and display all the layers to its full extension, you need to hit the Collapse Transformations button. This little button will allow the entire composition to display, no matter how big it is. By default, After Effects is unchecking this because if you are pre-composing something, you most likely want it to be as small as possible. But if you are, for example, animating it and you need it to be bigger, you just open up this option and inside of the layer, no matter how big it will be, it will be always displayed inside of the composition in which it is placed. That's all I wanted to explain you about compositions and pre-composing. Now, this is an essential option you will use very often inside of After Effects, so get used to it, write this down in your mind, and action item for you for this lesson is going inside After Effects, creating a few layers and pre-composing them on your own. I want you to create three compositions and place one composition inside of another composition. Of course, don't try to place the same composition inside of the same composition because that's not possible. Create one composition, pre-compose something, and use those pre-composed items to place inside of this composition. This was a very theoretical lesson in After Effects, but you also need to learn and know about those things while you work in this software. Thanks for tuning in, and if you enjoy how I teach, you can subscribe to this channel to see more of such videos.